Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today we have a special show from the ABV Barrel Shop Tasting Bar, where we're going to be trying Full Proof, a new product from Green River. My name is Steve Akeley, joined by Darren McCroy. What's up, man? Nothing. What's up with you, Steve? Not much. So yeah, we've got a, a new product from them. They, uh, Green River tends to be doing some pretty good things, don't yes. you agree? All, all, everything I've had from them has been really good lately. Yeah, they are. They're laying down a lot of product. They're sourcing for companies, and then of course, doing a good job of finding that balance of how do you uh, prov- uh, provide whiskey for others, but then create your own brands that are of significance. And uh, we've seen you know big companies like MGP struggle with that. Yeah, they yeah. can do one side really well, but right. not the other yeah. so much. So Green River and Bardstown Bourbon Company, you know, the two sister companies that make up that uh, organization, they're both doing a great job with yeah. this, right? Yeah. They are killing it, yeah. killing the game. Yeah, for sure. So they're they're fun to watch. Uh, I know that they're uh, pretty damn successful, and it uh, looks like they're only going to get bigger and better. We're going to try a new offering from them today, so it should be fun. And uh, something I've noticed about Barstown, a lot of, like, we always say, you can't out Jim Beam, Jim Beam. Uh-huh. They're probably the newest distillery that has a shot of doing it, right? Like, the, the way they're doing it. They're yeah. not there yet. They're not probably even close, but... Yeah. Yeah. They keep expanding in the right ways and keep making products and yeah, that's true. They they've done the closest to yeah yeah they they uh it's it's interesting. I mean their their big thing is that they'd have to get over as a you know global dominance. So, yeah, I mean Jim Beam's everywhere. So <laughs> yeah yeah and and, and Bardstown Bourbon Company's not even in Missouri yet. Right right. Please so. please come. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting there. They're getting there. But uh, yeah, should be should be cool stuff. So we'll be uh, we'll be tasting this one after the break. For right now, you said there's something you want to talk about. What is that, sir? So I know we're both whiskey guys and yep. enjoy our whiskey, but I want to talk about something that's not whiskey. Just okay, because it's summertime. I, I've been enjoying some lately. So, what are some of your favorite rums that you've ever had? I know you've dabbled with a couple. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I like I like uh, all the stuff Turner Wathen does. Yeah, and uh, just because. You have to trust your rum provider because the rules are so bad on rum. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. There's not really kind of any rules which allows them to kind of do whatever they want. So they can do crazy stuff like add flavorings and colorings. They can uh, they can age state something by putting the oldest rum that's in there. And no matter then, how much is in there. Yeah, there could be a drop of uh, you know 30-year-old rum in there, and the rest of it is something that they made last week, and they can call it a 30-year-old rum, mm-hmm. which is terrible. So, so <laughs> yeah, but if you get the right service provider, and that's what one of the things that uh, Rolling Fork Rum does is they find you know the ones that aren't cheating, aren't doing bad things, yep. uh, and that's what they sell. So I, I have a hard time just going out and just buying rum. Yeah. Uh, I, I, like, I like buying from Turner because I know he's vetted them out, so that's... That would be mine, Rolling Fork. Yeah, and so I, I'm the same way. I don't just go out and buy random rums because I'm probably going to get burnt. I, first off, I don't know enough. Right. But uh, other ones I have found that I, I kind of trust is Rana Zelko Yeah. With yeah, Kartik. I like that one. Yeah. It, everything he makes is fantastic. That's true. It doesn't matter if it's whiskey or rum. And then um, Foursquare. 
Four I really like some of the four yeah, square runs. Yeah, Richard Seal, four square. He's he's a straight shooter. So. And, and that's one guy that Turner gets some of his whiskey from right, too. Right. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, but um, I think he runs on a three chamber too. So it's obviously different uh, process whiskey versus rum. But I think he uses an old decommissioned uh, whiskey still from the United States that uh, he utilizes yeah. for his rum, which is cool. Yeah, that is neat. And uh, but the, lately, especially like I, some of the craft distillers have been making some really good rum. Um, Neely made that rum, and that was fantastic yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have some samples of uh, Deerhammer's rum over here, and th- right. that was really interesting and different. So the American craft distillers are, it's not just a blank spirit to them. They're aging it and adding a little something to yeah. it. Maybe one day you and I will have to go over and uh, try Adam Stumpf. I mean, like when he first started it, he had a rum customer. Uh, so he was making rum for this customer, and then the guy like didn't pay or something, and Adam just took the barrels back over. Uh, but I think they're still aging f- like ten years later. Yeah, because uh, he it's not he doesn't want to put out a brand or anything mm-hmm. like that. We might have to drive over there and taste it. And yeah, see if it's worth uh, making a little label for. And... Yeah, yeah, we could do that. So. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm sure Adam wants the space. Yeah, and then here's the great thing. We say, hey, we want to look at that rum and maybe do something with that. And then when, once you get over there, he's got the drill in his hand. Anything goes. <laughs> taste a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to do that on a, I don't know, on a Sunday or something or mm-hmm. see when he can do it. Yeah. Uh, that would be cool. Or, or get there uh, on a Monday or Tuesday at, uh, you know, eight because he he's over there distilling. Yeah. Stuff at 8 o'clock in the morning. See if Especially in the away. summer. Yeah. So. Yeah, see if he can break away for us and uh, do something like that. That'd be cool. We can do it when we both go over there. That'd be awesome. So, yeah. What, what else were we talking about? Uh, yeah. Rums. Oh, yeah. So, would you prefer a good rum yeah, okay. over a rum finished product? Uh, yes, a good rum, I think. Yeah, because I, I, the, the best rums I've had are some of the best spirits yeah. I've had. Yeah, I agree. And I've, I've had some good rum finishes, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I think it's just does a little bit of disservice to the whole rum community that right. it's best known for finishing an American whiskey right now, right. like, or Malibu or all the flavored rums. Yeah. You know, I, I think that there's a good, there is a place for a good white rum. If you're at the beach and you're having some sort of a beachy drink, uh, yeah. you know, so a frozen drink or something like that, that has some sort of rum in there. Now there's so many bad ones, you know, though. Then the the big ones are bad, Bacardi's and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they're just Captain Morgan. Yeah, uh, that's, that stuff's all just crap. But a good white rum in a uh, a beach type of cocktail is good, man. You yeah. get you get some of that stuff. It's it's very good. So with all those tropical flavors, yeah. and the sweetness of the rum. So that's yeah. when I like that kind of stuff. If I'm in Florida and uh, enjoying something at the Tiki Bar. Uh, I, I'm just not ordering whiskey down there. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just it's, it's not the thing. Right, right. So yeah. So so there, would you prefer rum in your drink rather than tequila? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. I think I would yeah. agree with that. Yeah. So so uh, for the most part, I, I rum would be after after whiskey. Rum would be the next thing that I I enjoy when when it comes to distilled spirits. So. Would, would it be above Scotch whiskey? Yeah. Okay. I was hoping. <laughs> Maybe. Scotch, no. I was not a, not a, I, I have respect for Scotland. And, and I, I I tell you what, one thing that I, I totally respect Scotland for is they always respected the grain. Now, some of that was infrastructure and the way they did things, uh, whereas in America... The grain was an afterthought. It was everybody was using yellow dent number two corn, yeah, uh, deer feed basically, and and whereas in Scotland they were growing the grains that they had access to right there by their distillery, and you know they would uh, they would utilize the not only the local stuff but then they would have the the spring and fall harvest and stuff like that and uh, you know the, the 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 products would be different based on on when the grain uh, uh you know came to fruition and stuff i don't know I, th- I just thought it was cool the way they handle their grain versus what we typically did prior to the craft explosion and that's changed things even for the big guys yeah we're seeing more and more different styles of grains even with the big guys yep. so yeah trying to embrace that stuff so very cool all right, let's uh, let's give this a cork pop, and then we'll come back and uh, taste it. But let's let's see what we got here. That's solid. That's a good one. That's a cork pop winner right there. So uh, good good cork pop. Remember that uh, when you get a bottle of this, that foolproof uh, Green River has a good cork pop. So what we'll do next, we'll take a quick break, and then when we come back, we're gonna give this thing a taste. We'll do that in just a few.
Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller in one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. Hello, this is Jeff from Iowa, and you're listening to The Bourbon Daily with Colonel Steve. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're back from break, and uh, Darren, what do we know about this one? So we know it is out of Green River Distillery, obviously. It is their foolproof product coming in at 117.3 for this proof. I, I don't think it's going to be set at that because it looks pretty handwritten, or not so, handwritten. Yeah, foolproof is one of those things where it's not defined, and it can mean different things. things. Foolproof, uh, you think in the world of, like, Buffalo Trace uh, and and their Weller product. That's the pro that's the price. I mean the price. The <laughs> the proof that it came uh, off the uh, uh, off the still right or yeah. came into uh, the barrel into the barrel right. Yeah. So they 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 make sure that it ends up if it if it as it goes up they will uh, they'll just proof down to that into the barrel. Uh -huh. uh, other times it can be uh, and I think as in this example uh, this is a looks like a batch. It's not a single barrel, so it's a, basically a might also be called a batch proof. Yeah, like, uh, the batch proof, what it just right. came out to. Right. So, so 117.3 is what we got here. $60 bottle. 60 bucks. Yeah, for a know. new item that's supposed to be available everywhere. Yeah. And Very cool bottle, too. You know, if you haven't seen this yet, they got the horseshoe bottom, uh, which is cool. They even got a little game that they uh, that you play with it. Uh, so, yeah. And I don't know if there's many bottles that look as good lined up with their full set. I saw a picture of, like, their weeded and their rye all, all lined up because they have the same label, and it's just different color differences. Right. But they fit together very nicely as well. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's give this one a taste, see what we think. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's really good. And uh, it's almost like a, not like an orange citrus note, but like a... Orange the color note in there. Orange the color note. Like an orange fruit. Like a, I don't. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm oh. not sure either. Uh, yes, I, I get some some orange citrus, uh, so I get that. Um, also get caramels and uh, even some black pepper on there yeah. for sure. And uh, yeah, it's good. It's very good, man. Green River hits a home run again. I think they do. They do. This one is uh, really a really nice uh, sipper for sure. Uh, sweet. And a little spicy, mm -hmm. a little kick to it, so it's it's very nice, man. I, I'm but liking a lot. Even at like this proof, like, it's not I, or the this price point, it's not meant to go in cocktails, right? But you wouldn't feel offended by putting it in a cocktail and oh, it would. Be, if you want a high proof cocktail, it would be awesome in a cocktail. Yeah. Actually, I mean, that would stand up 
really nicely for sure so yeah that's, that's how i like my cocktails is with something i can actually taste the whiskey in i don't mm -hmm. want a bunch of fruity duty nonsense in my cocktail i want to taste the whiskey right yeah that's that's key with uh whiskey cocktails you want it you want them to maintain their identity i still want them to be whiskey so yeah i agree so that's that's good stuff man I, i'm liking it yeah it's really good um have you had many single barrels from green river i've had a couple uh, and I like them. I, yeah. I've liked everything I've had from them. So Yeah, yeah. I, I'm kind of on that same page. Yeah, so I don't I don't have anything bad to say about those guys. They're doing a great job and uh yeah, really nice stuff. And and there's their price points are good. So So do you know if their distillery is open for tours? Yeah, it okay. is. Yeah. When I was in Owensboro, I didn't stop in. It's my fault, but I, we we were mostly going to Mammoth Cave. Okay. And so we were just staying in Owensboro and then driving up to Mammoth Cave. Yeah, where's where's Mammoth Cave at? Is it near Owensboro? Yeah, uh, I don't even it, know. I've never it, been there. It's just north of Owensboro and south of Jim Beam. Okay. So it's like in that area there. I'd like to go to uh, Mammoth Cave. It is, it is cool. Yeah. They have a bunch of different tours. Some of them are more uh, tight than others. Some of them... Are very nice, but it, it is cool. It's not like Onondaga or the Missouri caves that are very wet and alive. Most of it is uh, dormant and drier. Okay, but it is still really cool. The, them and Bernheim National for Forest are both really cool yeah. places to go to. Yeah, I've been to Bernheim a, yeah, several times. You can yeah. get to the entrance of Mammoth Cave. It's like fifteen minutes away from Bernheim. So really, yeah, oh, okay. It just further down that highway. That okay, I'm forgetting. All right, yeah. yeah. So that's cool. That's but cool. that that's when I was in Owensboro, and I was there with my sister and her kids, so it wasn't distillery visiting time. Whoa! But that might have to change soon because I, I like I, we said earlier, I love everything they're doing. So mm -hmm. you ever been to that cave down in uh, like Springfield, Missouri, where you drive the jeeps in there? The Fantastic Cavern. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You've been in there? No, I have not. Okay. Uh, what about the one that's at Silver Dollar City? Nope. I have I, I have never been to actual Silver Dollar City. I've been to Branson like once, but we spent all the time out on the lake. Okay. Uh, that, that was never. Uh, I always wanted to go to Hawn or to Hawn. What's Hawn? National or uh, State Park? Oh, in St. Genevieve. Okay, they got um, one of the biggest pine tree forests in Missouri. Okay, and it's just different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think as a kid, boy, I always want to go to a pine tree forest. Right? Yeah, so, I wasn't a normal kid. I, I don't right. know if you know this yet, but uh, it was not normal. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So we we've got a bunch of caves here in Missouri. Stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I have a cave uh, right by my house. Actually, right behind my house. Uh, that apparently goes on forever. Huh. So if you you've been to my house, mm -hmm. apparently you could follow that cave underground all the way underneath like the South County Mall, all that far. Wow. Now, it's uh, very dangerous, and uh, you have to be highly skilled, my understanding, to do that. Uh, you don't want to go screw it around and doing that yeah. uh, there. Uh, that they, It's been explored by Washington University, so uh, whatever cave people <laughs> yeah. are there. And, uh, yeah, yeah, so it, Interesting. it's crazy, crazy. Um, well, I used to always go on these float trips, but they were not like Missouri float trips where you get drunk. They were... Catching fish and just floating down a river, mm -hmm. but there uh, we, and with this farmer and he, we'd always stop at his property and be like, "Hey, let's go up here." And that was like the quickest way to this cave. And like we went through a portion where, like, if your shoulders were so wide, you couldn't go through. Yeah, but you could dip through and come back out, and that was cool. Yeah, but a lot of those caves things are like, yeah, if, and if you don't fit, also there's no getting you out, and the water will come up in 15 minutes and you'll oh, drown. Yeah, yeah. And so that gets me a little worried. But otherwise, I'm down to explore. It's a little caves. freaky, yeah. I used to always hang out at Cliff Cave, but it's closed to the public now, yeah. so it used to be open though. So yeah, they had a tra tragedy there. Um, unfortunately, some kids died. Mm -hmm. uh, the the it was the fault of the adults. It was a, they were not supposed to be in there no. that cave that day. Yeah, and they went in there anyway, and you know the worst case scenario happened. Uh, but, Still yeah. a really cool park. Have you been there recently? Oh yeah, yeah, it's awesome, man. Yeah, because yeah. they've All like redone the whole path, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah, it's, it's awesome. That it's overlook cool. over the Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. So that's right in my town, uh, Oakville, that I live. So, yeah, it's a really cool place for sure. So there you go. That's going to wrap this one up, as we always do, by talking about where people can find us. Darren, we're going to start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me enjoying everything Green River makes at The Bourbon Adventures. 
All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. I've also got a company website. That thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Also, jump on over to Bourbon Sasquatch on YouTube. We've got some great content mm. out there. Uh, just shot a couple videos today. Got those posted. They come out on Fridays where I do the uh, long-form ones. Got uh, shorts uh, during the week, and then on Fridays, uh, put out a long-form video where I talk about something. So those are pretty cool. Uh, people are liking those, I think. So uh, for a while, I'm going to continue to do it. I'm not committing to anything, Darren. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing it while well, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that's that's something that uh, I've got going on. And then, uh, of course, stop in here. ABV Barrel Shop, the place where you can try before you buy. Maybe you want to come to Missouri, do some cave exploring. Make sure you stop into St. Louis and come to the ABV Barrel Shop. Check out what we have going online, our classes and events and things over at ABV Barrel Shop. Dot com. Uh, get involved with the show. Give us a five-star review. It helps new people find the uh, show, uh, which is very important to us. And finally, head over to patreon.com slash the ABV network. See what's going on there. Uh, that's it for today. We'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye, y'all. Peace. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing, the ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you are in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.